I've created these surreal cinematic movie scenes by creating my base images in mid-journey and bringing them alive as videos with Google VO 3.1. And the videos I created are one of the best results I ever created with AI. So I'm going to show you how you can create the highest level of cinematic AI scenes yourself while keeping the process simple and affordable. I'll walk you through creating multiple complete cinematic scenes that look like they're straight out of Hollywood movies. Now the reason why I started exploring the combination of Mid Journey and Google VO 3.1 is because most image generators are very effective, controlled and have a lot of real world accuracy. But Mid Journey has this artistic stylized cinematic power and with the new release of Google VO 3.1 I needed to test the combination of the two and as you can see it didn't disappoint me. But I did find it inconvenient and expensive to switch between the two tools. So I'm using Lovart since they have both these models in one place with one subscription. So if you want to follow along, I'd recommend using LoveArt yourself and you can find the link in my description. So let me walk you through multiple mind-blowing examples that showcase different techniques, starting with a more simple one, which is this Mars scene that looks like it's straight out of a Hollywood sci-fi movie. I'm going to make the examples more surreal throughout the video. Once you're logged into LoveArt, click that plus icon to create a new project. Under image models, select Mid Journey. And here's the prompt I used. Astronauts in full body suits bracing against Martian dust storm, colony dome half buried in sand, cinematic depth of field, photorealistic dust textures, medium view shot. Now the key about this prompt is that I deliberately included those colony domes half buried in sand. When you're creating cinematic scenes, you need contextual elements that make the whole scene feel authentic and grounded in reality. It's these little details that separate amateur AI content from professional looking results. I'm choosing this image since it fits my idea best. Now I switch to video models and select VO 3.1 and this is my video prompt that will bring this image image alive, characters struggling forward, drone flyover, dust sweeping across lens, storm intensifying. As you can see in the result, the movement is natural, the dust effects are realistic, and most importantly, the characters maintain their form throughout the entire sequence. So let's level up with an example that's completely different, this surreal library scene. This one actually blew my mind. The process stays the same, but for my mid-journey prompt, I use an endless library with towering bookshelves, an adult in a long coat walking calmly as books float and swirl around them, cinematic wide shot, lifelike realism, 16 to nine aspect ratio. What's crucial is to always include your aspect ratio in the prompt itself. It helps the AI understand exactly what format you want and prevents those square or weird ratio results that don't fit your cinematic vision. And another key thing is to always include lifelike realism or cinematic realism in your image prompts. Without this, you'll get 3D cartoon style results that immediately look AI generated and amateur. Now for turning this into a video I wrote, an adult in a long coat walks through an endless library as books lift off the shelves and swirl gently in the air. The camera tracks for forward smoothly following their motion. Warm golden light filters through surreal yet realistic cinematic lifelike realism. 16 to nine aspect ratio, six second continuous shot. Notice how I included continuous shot with the duration. This is absolutely critical for complex scenes like this. It ensures you don't get weird transitions that can completely ruin the motion and make your video look static and choppy. This scene may be my favorite of all of them, but the next example is probably the most surreal thing I've created. And it perfectly demonstrates how to handle complex detailed scenes. This is a man in a formal suit sitting on a chair that's partially submerged in murky pond water with colorful fish swimming around. It's a bit of a weird idea, but look at how cinematic this turned out. Because this became such a detailed idea, my prompt also became detailed. Medium wide cinematic shot, aspect ratio 16 to 9. A man in a formal beach colored linen suit sits on a white chair partially submerged in slightly murky brown pond water. The camera faces him straight on, his expression shows strain as he grips the chair trying to rise. The water is opaque and earthy with small colorful fishes swimming just beneath the surface around his legs and chair. Sunlight filters through a hazy sky casting soft reflections on the pond. Cinematic ultra realism, photorealistic textures, natural daylight. Now for complex surreal scenes like this you need to be extremely specific and detailed in your prompts. Include every detail, the aspect ratio, the shot type, the exact positioning of elements. Notice how I specified that the fishes are around the legs and chair. This level of detail is what gets you the exact 
result you're visualizing instead of some random interpretation. If you ever struggle with creating prompts, use tools like ChatGPT. You can provide your full idea and how it should turn out and ask it to create a detailed prompt for this. Then you can always easily tweak it afterwards. Also, it's crucial to select images with clear facial features that will avoid morphing in the video. Now for my video prompt I created, the man in a beach colored suit sits on the chair, only his head moving subtly as he looks around, small colorful fishes swim in gentle arcs around his legs, occasionally darting past, ripples distorting the waterline, cinematic realism, natural daylight, subtle handheld sway. Look at how the fish move naturally, how the water ripples realistically. I find it amazing how amazing this video turned out. Now with this exact workflow, I created nine other amazing cinematic scenes in Lovart. So let me show you all the other incredible examples I've created along with the prompts so you can recreate them or use them as inspiration. First up, we have a clock dimension scene. Then a couple at a fountain capturing that cinematic feel. Next, dancers in a parade, full of color and movement. Here's a dance in the sky scene. Then a Hobbit inspired scene. An Inception style scene. Here's the old man in a boat. Next, cotton fishes, soft, whimsical and imaginative. And finally, a man in neon lights. I heard you were looking for me. Each of these demonstrates different techniques and approaches, but they all follow the same core workflow principles I've shown you. LoveArt gives you access to the best image generation with Midjourney and the most advanced video generation with VO3.1 all in one platform. No more juggling multiple subscriptions, no more inconsistent results between different tools, no more wasting time and credits on inferior outputs. If you want to start creating these insane cinematic scenes yourself, I've put the link to lovart.ai in the description below. Trust me, once you start using this workflow with these exact techniques, you'll never go back to whatever you were using before. The techniques I've shared, such as selecting images with clear facial features, adding contextual elements for authenticity, being extremely specific with complex scenes, using continuous shot commands, they're the difference between amateur AI content and professional cinematic results. I hope this video helped you understand how to create professional AI cinematics. Let me know in the comments what kind of scene you're planning to create first. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.